Hey guys, Mark here from Apple Insider, and earlier this week, Apple announced a new version of watchOS which packs a handful of new watch faces and features. So let's go over what those new features are and see what the new watchOS 6 Beta 1 has to offer. If you missed our video earlier this week on all the new watch faces for the Apple Watch, we have that video ready for you to watch, which we will link down below. So I'm just going to skip all of these new beautiful watch faces and jump straight into what else is new with Watch OS 6 Beta 1. One of the major features that Apple announced at WWDC is this new noise app, which can check the sound levels nearby and notify you when certain sounds might affect your hearing. And how it does this is by using the Apple Watch's built-in mic. Now you can also add a complication for noise to quickly see whether the noise level levels might be too loud or if it's normal. Now Apple also added voice memos and a calculator app so you can record quick voice memos without the need to pull out your phone. And the calculator app can also help figure out tips and how to properly split the bill so that you and your friends don't have to argue about how much everyone should chip in during dinner. Now audiobooks is also coming to the Apple Watch so any audiobooks that you purchase through Apple Books will now be available through that app. And there's also new developer tools that include an audio API to stream music, radio, and podcasts independently just using your Apple Watch. And speaking of apps, Apple also added the App Store to the Apple Watch so that users can easily install third-party apps, search for apps using Siri, and view app product pages directly on the watch. Developers can also build Apple Watch-only apps created to work independently on the Apple Watch without an iOS app, which is really neat. There's also now a new Taptic Chimes feature where the watch will tap a short pattern at the top of the hour to let you know that a new hour has passed, or you can set it to tap you every half hour. Health and fitness is obviously a big deal for Apple Watch users, so Apple added a new Trends tab in the Activity app on the iPhone, which now gives users a long-term view of their activity behavior to help them understand their progress. There's also a new Cycle Tracking app, which now gives women the ability to log important information related to their menstrual cycles and predict timing for their next period and fertile window using the convenience of their Apple Watch. The new cycle tracking feature is also available in the Health app on the iPhone with iOS 13. Now Watch OS 6 also enables Core ML, which now uses Apple Neural Engine on Apple Watch Series 4, which enables faster processing of on-device inputs, which essentially means everything will run much smoother than before. And that's been it. Once there are new updates for Watch OS 6 that brings new visuals or new features that have been added, so stay tuned on the Apple Insider YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know when those videos go live, and and we'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.